So Amex has made a few changes to the Platinum card last week by upgrading and improving their $240 digital entertainment credit. They have also paired with Bread Financial to introduce a new cashback credit card. Hi, my name's Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about an upcoming event that Amex and Boom Supersonic will be holding in July. The new Bread Cashback Amex credit card and the latest updates to the Platinum Card's digital entertainment credit. So if you do find that this video helps you out, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, as it really helps out my channel. And if you enjoy the content, why not consider subscribing? Okay, so let's jump into it. American Express is partnering with Boom Supersonic and will host a three-day event at the Farnborough International Air Show, which is located just out of London in Hampshire. And if you've never heard of Boom Supersonic, Basically, they are an American company that is designing a supersonic passenger airline that should cut flight times in half. Their passenger plane, called the Overture, has room to carry up to 88 passengers and will have a cruising altitude of 60,000 feet. It will fly at speeds of Mach 1.7, which is just over 1,300 miles per hour, and will have a range of just over 4,800 miles. And judging by their website, the new planes look like they will be nicely equipped and will feature business class seats only. And Boom Supersonic expects to start flying passengers by 2029. So the event that they are holding is by invitation only and is exclusively for Centurion and Platinum card holders. It also comes with a price tag of $1,975 per person. And the tickets went on sale earlier this week for the Centurion card on the 13th and the Platinum card on the 14th. The experience is being held from July 19th to the 22nd and will include access to the Farnborough International Air Show. There will also be special access to different events during the show, including a tour of the Aerospace Industries Association Operations Center, which will have US military aircraft displays. There will also be a tour of the Brooklands Museum, which will have Captain Mike Bannister, who is the chief pilot of the British Airways Concorde fleet. And then after this, there is a dinner reception. So it sounds like a pretty interesting event and should be a bit of fun if you get the chance to attend it. Next up, let's take a look at the new cashback credit card that is on offer from Amex and Bread Financial, which is called the Bread Cashback Card. First of all, there is no annual fee or foreign transaction fees associated with this card. It earns unlimited 2% cashback on all purchases, which is nice, as you won't have to worry about spending on any specific categories to earn the 2% cashback. And with the cashback, you will have the option of getting it as a direct deposit to your account or by receiving a statement credit. The card will also come with a few nice benefits that include a discount of up to 30% when you book specific hotels through booking.com. When you book a rental car through the website rentalcars.com, you can save up to 10%. There is access to airport lounges through the Lounge Buddy app or on their website Lounge Buddy Com, with access starting from $25. And then finally, when booking a car rental through Avis, you can receive up to 15% off. And if you book through Hertz, you can receive a discount of up to 10%. There is also a large range of benefits to choose from on the Amex Offers website. And as you can see here, there are a lot of options to choose from and this list of options changes quite often. Then there is exclusive access to pre-sale tickets and American Express seating to a large range of different shows. And finally, you will get the choice to save up to 20% off your bill or a free appetizer for dine-in or pick up at participating restaurants. And when you look at their website, there are quite a lot of options to choose from. As you can see here, there are multiple locations around the US to choose from. And if you choose, say, New York, there are currently 27 restaurants with special offers available. Now, in terms of insurance-related coverage, there is car rental loss and damage insurance for rental cars anywhere in the US or Canada. And coverage is for up to $50,000 per rental. There is retail protection that provides you with 90 days of coverage on new purchases in case it is damaged or stolen. And this covers up to $1,000 per loss and a total of $50,000 per cardholder account per 12 month period. There is zero fraud liability, which means you won't be responsible for any unauthorized purchases that are made to your account. And then finally, there is ID theft protection, which covers you for up to $2,500 for identity theft expenses incurred due to an identity theft occurrence. So all in all, it seems like a pretty decent card with some good benefits and a reasonable cashback earning potential. The only downside is that there is no welcome offer. Another option for a credit card would be the Chase Freedom Flex card, as it has no annual fee and actually has a $200 bonus after you spend $500. And it also offers up to 5% cashback. And finally, last week, American Express added a few more options to their digital entertainment credit. So as you may know, the Platinum Amex card offers a credit of $240 per year that can be used on a variety of different digital services. Initially, it was possible to receive a credit for using either Audible, Peacock, SiriusXM, or the New York Times. And Amex has now included the following services. 
Disney Plus, the Disney Bundle, ESPN Plus, and Hulu. So there is now a total of eight different services to choose from, which is good. Although it would be really nice if they included Netflix and Spotify, as I feel those services would make the digital credit even better value. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything new that the Amex Platinum card has to offer at the moment. Now, if you're interested in other top tier credit cards that compete with the Amex Platinum card, why not check out my review and comparison of the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, the Capital One Venture X card, and the Platinum card here.